Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel, I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So now in this video, I'm going to explain you about tax planning, tax avoidance and tax evasion. Apart from that, I'm going to explain you about the cost concept. In this unit number four, totally four topics we have. The first topic, cash flow statement. Last so many videos I have explained in detail about what is cash flow statement. We have solved some 10 problems on making the cash flow statement. That is the first aspect. The second topic in this unit number four is what is the meaning of tax planning, tax avoidance and tax evasion. This is the second part I am going to explain in this video. Then what is the meaning of the term cost, cost concept. Then classification of cost and lastly cost sheet. So these are all the topics to be covered in unit number four. Now hope my regular viewers have already watched the cash flow statement. If you have not watched go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject accounting for management. Select the video of cash management. This is cash flow statement. Be clear about the concept how to make. Now before starting the concept of tax planning. Take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain everything in detail. <clears throat> Very frequently in examination, a theory question will be asked, explain about tax planning. So tax planning means working out a plan to reduce the tax liability by taking all the benefits given by income tax in the form of deductions, allowances, exemptions, rebates, etc. So income tax act has given different means, different methods through which a person can be able to reduce his tax liability. So when I make tax planning, I'm taking the advantage of the act. The act has given so many benefits through which I can be able to reduce my tax liability in the form of allowances, exemptions, deductions, etc. So tax planning means working out a plan to make benefits, maximum benefits of exemption, deduction and rebate allowed by law and reducing the tax liability that is tax planning is the technique of avoidance of tax or a higher rate of tax planned in advance before the income is earned. So at the time of earning the income, at the time of uh, making the payment of income tax, we make some planning. Planning in the sense, uh, taking the benefits of deductions, allowance, exemptions given by Income Tax Act and thereby reducing our tax liability or rate of tax. Now tax planning refers to arrangement of financial affairs of an SSC to reduce the burden of tax payment to the maximum extent without violating any rules and regulations of the Income Tax Act. We are not violating any rules and regulations. We are taking maximum benefits of exemptions, allowance, rebates, deductions which are given by Income Tax Act. So we have to make the financial affairs in such a way that our total income will be reduced and we, our tax liability will be reduced. Tax planning is an activity to reduce the burden, tax burden in a rightful and ethical manner. It is not illegal. The law itself has given the benefit to the SSC that you can reduce the tax liability by taking the advantage of exemptions. So Income Tax Act has given that if an SSC performs these and these things, he will be allowed exemption. Example, if the SSC has made investments out of his income in provident fund or in other mutual fund like this, if the SSC has insurance premium he has paid. So if an SSC has done all the I mean rules and regulations which are given by Income Tax Act, then the SSC will get the advantage of reducing the tax liability. So it is completely fair, it is legal to reduce the tax liability. It takes the advantage of all exemptions, concessions, allowance, rebates, deductions, etc. 
which are accepted by Income Tax Act. All these deductions, exemptions are allowed by Income Tax Act. So we should take the advantage and reduce the tax liability. So this plan, this plan of reducing the tax liability by taking the advantage of all exemptions, deductions, etc. is called tax planning. First concept. Second concept is tax avoidance. Tax avoidance is an activity. It is the ways and means by which an SSC is legally taking the advantage of different loopholes in the Income Tax Act and thereby reducing its tax liability. See here. The law, the law any country will not be completely 100% perfect. In the law, there may be some loopholes. So an SSC will take the advantage of that loophole in order to reduce his tax liability. In order to reduce his tax liability, the SSC is taking the advantage of that loophole. Example, simple example I'll give you. According to Income Tax Act, a person is liable to pay tax if her or his income is more than basic exemption limit. For the current assessment year, the basic exemption limit is 2,50,000. So if, an, if a person's income is below 2,50,000, no tax liability. If the income is more than 2,50,000, he is liable to pay tax. Now, now, if the husband's total income, if a person, if a husband is, uh, husband's total income is, let it be 10 lakh, he is liable to pay tax. Now, in order to avoid the tax, he has transferred some of the incomes, some of the proper, some of the income in the name of his spouse, in the name of wife. In this case, income tax, from income tax point of view, husband and wife are two different persons. Two different persons. In order to avoid the tax, husband is transferring the income in the name of the wife. This is an example where there is tax avoidance taking the loopholes in the act in order to reduce the tax liability. No legal action can be taken for reduced payment of tax. By taking the loophole of the Income Tax Act, so he is reducing the tax liability. No action can be taken by Income Tax Act because he is not violating the law. He is taking the advantage of the loopholes or drawbacks in the act. If an SSC enters into a contract to receive a lesser amount of income to decrease its tax liability, it cannot be called as a case of tax avoidance. Example, I am the owner of a property. I have let out the property to one of my relative at a very low rent. Then Income Tax Act says that uh, you are taking less income. So it is not called tax avoidance. Tax avoidance means when we are taking the advantage of the loopholes of the act. Taking lesser income is not a tax avoidance. Tax avoidance implies that SSC is receiving the benefit of income, but it is artificially made as income of other person. <coughs> Example I have given. In reality, it is the income of the husband, but artificially it is treated as the income of the wife. Taking the advantage that Income Tax Act will treat husband and wife as two separate persons. So taking the advantage of that, he is transferring his income in the name of wife, artificially making that wife is the uh, receiver of that income. For example, a sole trader making all the members of his family as partners in his self-styled partnership business. One more example of tax avoidance is a sole trader. He is the single person, he is the owner of the business, but in order to avoid the tax, in order to reduce the tax liability, what he is making, he is converting its sole trading business into partnership business and making all the family members as partners. Wife, children, all these are the partners of the self-styled partnership firm. So in reality, it is the sole trading business. But for reducing the tax liability, it is being treated as a partnership business. This is called tax avoidance. Now, last one is tax evasion. Tax evasion means not showing the income to the Income Tax Act in order to prevent from tax liability. That means unaccounted money. A person has not shown clearly how much income he has earned. He has suppressed his income. 
not showing the income to income tax department to the law that is called tax evasion it is illegal so if the taxable incomes are not revealed fully to the income tax department then such act is known as tax evasion very simple if the income is not disclosed to the income tax department the purpose is to reduce the tax liability that act of concealing the income suppressing the income not showing the income to the income tax department that is called tax evasion so in other words tax evasion is illegal way of reducing tax liability by suppressing the income by not showing the income by concealing the income we want to uh, i mean protect ourselves from tax that is called tax evasion completely illegal should not be done the unaccounted income is known as black money so in india we normally called as black money what do you mean by black money the unaccounted money the money which is not shown to the law to the income tax department the hidden income that is called black money now if the income tax department traces the black money then the ssc will be asked to pay penalty along with the usual tax so we have the law in income tax act provision is given if a person is caught of unaccounted money black money then he will be put to penalty lot of penalty will be applied apart from the usual tax normally in india we have 60% of uh, tax for unaccounted money penalty will be 60% now the tax evasion is an illegal method of evading the tax first of all you have to remember tax evasion is an illegal act then if you have a situation wherein person makes manipulation in his or her accounts in order to reduce his tax liability suppose in the business in the accounts the person is manipulating the accounts not showing the clear picture window dressed accounts are made in order to reduce the tax liability that is called tax evasion lastly tax evasion is done by implementing unfair means it is not fair it it is not ethical to evade the tax as an honest citizen we must pay the tax according to the act this is the tax evasion so i have explained you tax planning tax avoidance and tax evasion very frequently asked in examination the last next concept i am going to explain you in this video is cost the concept of cost the cost means uh, first of all there are different meaning for the term cost by different people have given different definitions according to the purpose why we require the meaning of cost we have different meanings so we cannot give a single meaning of tax different situations will have different meaning of the term cost now the term cost has a variety of meaning different people use it in term in different senses for different purposes so different purpose is there for that we have to define the tax so normally cost is the amount of expenditure first definition i have given here cost is the amount of expenditure whether actual or notional notional means imaginary whether actual or notional incurred or attributable to a given thing incurred or attributable to a given thing so simple words cost is the expenditure whether actual or notional incurred or attributable to a given thing for example in a manufacturing organization suppose a factory making air coolers so whatever the cost incurred in making the air cooler whatever the cost incurred in making the air cooler whether it is the actual cost or notional cost or all the cost attributable to make this air cooler that is called cost one definition second cost is the value of economic resources used as the result of producing the goods or producing the services providing the services the so business will be done by making the goods or for providing the services so all the economic resources which are used in producing the goods or providing the services that economic uses economic resources used are called cost last mere knowledge of total cost cannot satisfy the need of management one of the objective of the management is to control the cost is to ascertain the cost 
So without classifying the cost, the management cannot be able to control the cost. So for managerial decision making, for control purpose, the costs should be classified into different categories. The total cost will not serve any purpose. For proper control and managerial decisions, management is to be provided with necessary data to analyze and classify the cost. So for taking managerial decisions, the management requires the different types of cost. Behavior of cost we have to study. What is the nature of cost we have to study. So inshallah in the next video, I am going to explain you about the classification of cost and the cost sheet. So if you are satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video, share my channel, subscribe it if you have not yet subscribed and buy the super thanks which is, below, which is given below my video inshallah. We will continue the next topic in the next video.